Oh, yeah. See, we plan ahead. That way we don't do anything right now. Earl, explain it to me. <laughs> On the hap happier sides of things, James Gunn says, who might this be? In a teaser for, uh, God, I can't even think of his fucking name. Peacemaker. Thank you, Peacemaker Season 2. I'm going to say it's Rick Flag. My money is Rick Flag. Or I don't Joe, think so. Joe Mama. <laughs> Joe Mammy? Joe Mammy. <laughs> I don't think it's uh Joel Kenneman. He said he doesn't want to do that. So Yeah, he um Me thinks the lady doth protest too much because he was pretty he was pretty shitty about it actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like basically, he said he didn't want to work for James Gunn again. It's like, ouch. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand was, what happened there. But hey, I respect that. You know, if you don't want to work with somebody you think was a douche. Chair. Hey, don't do it. Uh, I mean, was it the idea? Was he upset because Flag got killed? I don't know. I mean, I didn't like it, but I, I mean, whatever. Well, that's the one thing that surprised the shit out of me in that movie. I'm like, oh, you actually fucking killed them. Interesting. Yeah. Like, hmm. And he was the most, like, interesting version of Flag that I've ever seen. Like, it was I know, right? Because <laughs> he's, a, like, a bland prick in the comics and the cartoons. Yeah, he so. was so interesting in the Suicide Squad movies. I'm like, hey, this is pretty interesting. More of this, please. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> no, let's just let John Cena as Peacemaker just kind of pop them. I don't have a problem. I didn't have a problem with it. I didn't. Again, I liked Rick, so I can't be like, well, fuck him. But yeah. I, I liked Peacemaker a lot, and I, I can't complain terribly. I like that Killing Flag sticks with Peacemaker even through the, the TV series. Like, it, it still yeah. bothers him. And um, I liked Peacemaker enough. Yeah. I had some problems with it, but for the most part, I was like, yeah, that was all right. Yeah. It, it's the building point for James Gunn's new universe. No, it actually has nothing to do with the new universe. It's season two that will have something to do with this universe. Mm -hmm. oh. It's oh. basically uh, season two is now splitting off into this new universe. One of the th few things he's cherry picked from previous universes and bringing into this next one but he is changing things to make this feel like it is a oh. different peacemaker in universe really okay yep so this will be rick flag senior could be that would be my second guess because i have heard that name being kicked around the interwebs lately so bitch flag bitch flag you killed my child let your bitch flag fly everybody Woo! <laughs> Oh, uh, and <clears throat> let's see here. <clears throat> You've been getting all Aaron Pierce. Yes, Lanterns has announced that they have found their John Stewart. And I heard people going, Why? Really? Why? They've only been talking about this for like a freaking several months now. Yeah. Because I'm looking at John Stewart for fuck's sake. That's why. I and mean, look at this guy. Like he's yeah. jacked. He, his face fits. It's like, and he's a good actor. Wow. I have no problem with this at all. That's John Stewart, y'all. This is damn good casting. This is really good casting. Yeah. So again, good on you, James Gunn. Oh yeah. As, as Say what you will say. about what he's doing, oh. but he's casting very well, in my opinion. Now, I, would I have preferred Nathan Fillion as Hal Jordan? Damn fucking right I would have. But he's he, going to play uh, Guy Gardner. That fits even better. Yeah, I know. I just, I, I really want to see it in action before I really pass judgment, though. I want one, one bad line from him, you know? I'm just curious to see if they're ever going to bring Kyle Rayner into any of these. They might. Is that, that, that would make me, I mean, he's my favorite of the lanterns. That would make me a very happy guy. 
I think ultimately they want to get to a spot where they could do a Green Lantern Corps movie. That would be awesome. But I think they're trying to get Lanterns on a strong footing right now with their show and as well into the movie. So they're bringing, they're slowly rolling this out. So I think we're going to build to a Green Lantern Corps movie. I'd be down for that. So would I. And my wife is a big Jon Stewart fan in the Green Lantern comic book. So, yeah, this is an okay uh, casting. As long as we don't have animated suits, we're good. Yep. I I don't want a super suit, and I don't want it to be animated. (laughs) I thought it was cool. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, speaking of animated, uh, well... The lightning. Zachary Levi uh, reportedly is upset because he thought his role as Billy Bastion or Shazam was going to earn him the same status that Chris Evans has in Hollywood and in America's hearts as Captain America. What made him think that? This is like secondhand information, though. Like, yeah. I don't know how far I would really go with this because he also just had a conversation about who he was backing in the election. And I am not trying to, we're not going political, but he's come out in support of Trump. And now all of a sudden, shit like this starts coming out. It's like, this is kind of a hit piece. I don't see him not having that status in America his hearts per se as as shazam but him being bitter that he didn't become a rocker chris evans like you gotta have an ego twice their size to think that Uh, yeah i don't know i just don't see that coming out of his mouth i hope not because like i've loved him since chuck like truly um Golly, I don't want this to be true because I, I would I would have to make fun forever. I put this in the a person I know a person who knew a person who heard something like this. Unless you heard, unless somebody can show me a strict quote straight from Zachary Levi, I'm taking this with a grain of salt. Saying that bitch Chris Evans. <laughs> <laughs> this makes me think of Deadpool and Wolverine. I wouldn't say that. I never said that. <laughs> and then they were, yeah, they that shit. So, you know, I, I could be easily wrong, but I, I'm taking this with a big pinch of salt for this headline. God, I want to watch Deadpool now. Anyway, agreed. Right. Um, I, I, I wanted to bring this on just because I like both of them. And a fair warning, if it is true, I will make fun. But I love yeah. Jack Levi. So, again, I, I like was, Chris Evans, you know. So He is Captain America. I don't give a shit. Yes, he is. Yeah. Is That's anything America's else? Ass. No, he's not even Johnny Blaze. Until he gets his skin ripped off of him. Thank you for watching this clip from our Dead Wire live streams every Saturday night at 9 p.m. Pacific time. Did you like this clip? If so, please make sure you hit that like button, share, and subscribe to this video. Stay tuned to all of our video content. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next time.